Hello everyone, welcome back to Expat Love in the Philippines and as usual Michael is your host so glad to have your company here so remember the other day we were talking about the video we made and making the charcoal it's complete now from what I can see um, so the man is not here, Saring is not here at the moment so we'll go over just the same as we did last time towards the charcoal pit and see what it's like because I'm not quite sure myself at the moment so let's go as, as we're getting closer looks to me like it's a hell of a mess <laughs> notice the lakeside also because we're right in the, um, the thick of planting the rice all over the province of Bohol so so the lake is has dropped maybe one meter from its its, its, um, its highest level what it's allowed to go to so we're still doing pretty good because there's a lot of water used when the planting season comes so we should be doing all right for a, maybe a year harvest of tilapia, but we'll cross that bridge later, shall we? <laughs> well, we're here. Wow. <laughs> it like, looks like an extinct volcano, doesn't it? That's what he was digging up to cover. So, look at this. So maybe he just breaks it all off and puts it in his bag here. So virtually in the sack, the bags here. This is what he's, or we'd say, harvesting. So this is the charcoal that he's got. And that's how one of the traditional methods of making charcoal here in the Philippines is, is like this. So I think it would be far easier. How the heck would I know? But like, well, some of most of them I've seen uh, actually dug in a hole and then they burn it in there and then cover it over, then just move it all to one side and then. But this putting a dirt on is seems like very much like hard work for me and he if he fills another sack which probably he won't then it's a lot of work he's put in for two and a half sacks of charcoal which are worth about 100 pesos each they're probably for his own use of course but they're, they're not it's not expensive to buy a bag of these from the market or anything you know, so but when you have nothing, you have nothing, so you have to make do, so good on him for doing it anyway, so all, all I hope now he comes back and cleans it up, <laughs> <laughs> or I, I'll be a little cross, <laughs> as they say, but you're okay, we'll be ahead, so we'll make our way back now, um, Bonnie and one of our helpers, Mark, they're putting the finishing touches to one of our picnic areas, so We'll go and view that now, shall we? Thanks for watching this video, though. As always, take care and God bless.